Stockfish is wrong. In a Nimzovich defense or similar opening that runs into white having e4 and d4 and black having e5, the trout will indicate d5 is the best move pushing the d-pawn. This makes sense, computers like forcing moves that improve the position and increase space, but have you heard of win rates? Looking at the current Leechess database for over 1800, the most played move, the computer best move, results in a positive win rate for black on move 3. Why would playing the best move give black an edge? Because this pawn structure is useful for black. One of black's most powerful pieces is their dark squared bishop that has the option to put pressure on f2, especially in the opening. Until that pawn push, black's bishop did not have the option to go c5, so this is the first critical trade-off. Next, there is still a pawn on e5 that didn't go anywhere, and now you lost the option to interact with it until doing something else like f4. That is now a bar preventing white pieces from going to f4 or d4, likely for a very long time. Next, d5 is easier to attack. This is less relevant, but just consider that c6 can potentially be chipped away at, which is white's furthest advanced and center pawn. Next, you did not develop any pieces. Black still has the only piece developed, and you moved your pawn twice in a row instead of continuing development. That knight wants to route its way to g6 anyway, so you're just giving it a free tempo to get there. And last, you are locking up the center, and you've already made Black's king much safer. So let's look at a standard Nimzovich game from Black's perspective. e4, knight c6, d4, e5. White chooses d5 in the overwhelming majority of games. Knight e7, c4, knight g6. White still has yet to develop a piece, the center is locked tight, and the black knight has already gone on a journey across the board. Bishop d3, bishop c5, black's bishop is better, and you allowed them the most juicy square. Knight c3, knight f6, and see how it's likely that white wants to castle kingside since their pawns are weaker on the queen side and it will be faster. Black even has a trick here that wins the game on the spot if they play the common knight ge2. But if they play the correct knight f3, then it makes sense for black to go for a kingside attack. But here's the thing. I've played hundreds of games in this opening with black. Black's king is really safe, and all the pressure will be on white since black can do an unrestricted kingside attack however they want, and white can't really do a counterattack because of the locked center. So usually you see something like a queenside attack from white, assuming a queenside castle from black, but the trick that many Nimzovich players understand is that you usually don't need to castle your king at all because you want to push your h-pawn and keep your rook on the h-file to attack. So the king can just go to f8 if checked, maybe even g8, and you still can't quite get to them without spending a lot of moves while you're being attacked, which results in the great win rate for black. This is just a structure example of how black can attack while white can't really get to black's king, and black's king doesn't need to castle at all. So if d5 isn't safe, then what should you play? There are lots of sound ideas, but you could just play c3 and just...